What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sunday. I wonder what's over here in the kitchen. Why are we running to the kitchen? How does he know the difference between making something for him and just cooking our breakfast, which I do every day? Look at this lineup we have over here. Wow, this is looking really good. What's up guys and welcome back to Super Cooper Sunday. Today is a very special day here in the US. It's our biggest sporting event of the year. The Super Bowl is today and uh, you guys know we like to do Super Bowl themed episodes here on the channel. So uh, unfortunately today, is not the best day. As you guys can see, it's super overcast. It's raining every couple of minutes. It's just kind of a little bummy outside. So we had to call an audible. Huh? You see what I did there? And we are gonna be holding the Puppy Bowl indoors this year. So if you guys don't know, kind of similar to what we did last year, we've got some challenges set up for Cooper and Coda. We're gonna get them in their jerseys and we're gonna see who out of the two of them ends up winning and maybe they'll accurately predict the Super Bowl. I guess we'll kind of see what happens later on this evening. Are you ready, Coop? Are you gonna win? Oh my goodness, here we go. We've, we've got a couple of different things where like, I feel like we kind of played to each of their strengths and weaknesses and we'll just kind of see how it turns out. So what's our first challenge? So our first challenge is going to be a classic catch challenge. Nice. They get three chicken nuggets. Okay. And that's their three shots. So if you get one out of three, if you get three out of three, that's your score. Obviously, to win a Super Bowl, you need a high receiving percentage. You want to be able to catch things. And so we're going to see who can win that. I feel like Cooper's kind of the favorite. But honestly, lately, Coda has been impressing us. Yeah. So every day we we haven't uh we haven't tested him in a while i'm thinking about doing a dog's catching v2 at some point but uh yeah i don't know we'll see if he shows up today our second challenge has to do with the best part of the super bowl and that's super bowl party food so we have veggies and dip which is just pumpkin a hot dog a nugget a chip and dip which is pumpkin again a pig in a blanket and a dog friendly turkey cheddar meatball and we have to see who finishes their whole plate first bro i gotta gas you up a little bit because you killed it here the theming is great that the the turkey cheddar meatball i ate one as soon as they were done it was fantastic it needed a little bit of salt and like some seasoning for oh, yeah. humans to eat it but it tasted so good so seriously you're on point if you guys want the recipe for the meatballs, I know you guys always love the cooking episodes. We're not gonna do a full cooking episode today, but we will leave it down in the description. Lots of help in this kitchen. Oh my. Uh oh. We started talking, so here comes the other one. Oh man, Cooper, you better be careful. You're gonna burn yourself. <laughs> You guys be good boys, you can eat it in a minute. And last but not least, just to make sure she doesn't feel left out, we have a, uh, a mini, a mini plate for Bella. <laughs> can you imagine if we put that down in front of the boys, how disappointed they would be? Probably would be like, that, that's it. The biggest challenge of the day is gonna be an indoor obstacle course. So you guys may remember last year we had a lot of fun. We had like hurdles and hoops to jump through and like the agility poles and tunnels and stuff like that. And we'll do that again at some point. But like I said, we had to figure out something for indoors. So this is a little sloppily thrown together, but I think it's gonna be pretty fun. So we are gonna start with a 30 second run on the treadmill. You guys haven't seen the treadmill in a while. To be honest, we're probably gonna sell it. It's not like we use it regularly. So this is probably the last time you'll see it. So we're gonna start with a 30 second run on the treadmill. After that, you're gonna get off the treadmill. You're gonna run over here and you have to go underneath the paddle board. You gotta be able to duck those tackles. After you come through here, you're gonna run this way. And this is probably my favorite obstacle of them all. We set up a tennis ball minefield and Cooper has been an absolute terror with this thing. Bella, don't, don't you do it, you stay there. Not yet, you'll get to do it here in a second. So you're gonna have to come through the tennis ball minefield. Obviously you don't wanna get distracted by the tennis balls. I think we should enact a rule that for like every tennis ball you hit, it's plus one second or two seconds or something like that. 
So everyone, you move out of place, you get a, a time penalty. Then you come around this way, we're gonna have a toy at the end of this, down by the ovens. At least for Coop, it's gonna be a toy, it's gonna be a football. I don't think Coda will pick up a toy, so he's just gonna run it down and back, but basically it's gonna be like a fumble recovery for a touchdown. So you have gotta run down here and grab the ball, and then you have gotta run all the way back to the love sack, where Chelsea is gonna be waiting, and that's gonna be your time. And whoever gets the shortest time out of the two is gonna be the winner. So we've got three challenges, three opportunities to, uh, to earn some bragging rights. Where's Coda? Is he by the food? I was trying to look at Cooper and then look at Coda to talk about bragging rights, but he's, he's just here for the food. Anyway, it's gonna be fun. Hope you guys are ready. Let's kick off the first challenge. Just kidding, before we get into our first challenge, we have to get their jerseys on. So I'm gonna be honest. We ordered these jerseys a little bit late. The NFL shop was pretty much out of dog jerseys. They only had a few options left. They didn't have any of the double XL, triple XL, or quadruple XL. So I don't know if these are gonna fit, but we're gonna try. <laughs> so what size is that? That's the XL. Face, like, don't even try it, lady. Good boy. Look at this nice jersey. Yeah. <laughs> totally your size. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm trying to again. Koopy, where did you get that tennis ball from? You know exactly. What Excuse me? If there's one missing over here, I'm going to be really ups. Oh, yeah. Yep, it came from over here. <laughs> Go to come here. <laughs> That makes your head look 10 times bigger than it already is. That's a really big boy. Look how big he looks so muscular and tough. Yes, you do. You look tough. Okay. I assumed Koda would fit in an XL, and because of that, I thought maybe Koopy would fit in an L, but uh, I think they're both gonna be a little tight. Koopy, come show me. Come show me your jersey. Nice. Looking good. Both of you guys are looking fantastic. All right, buddy, test number one. You are without a doubt the favorite here, but that all can go wrong very, very quickly. You've only got three chances. This is gonna be big, all right? One, two, three. Good boy, that's one. One, two, three. Whoa, that one was short too, good job. The Niners are down by seven. They need a touchdown to score. Can't they? Do it! Yes, they can! That's the Koopy we know and love. He's perfect, three for three. Oh my goodness. The MVP of the Super Bowl so far, and he's just gonna take all the rest of the nuggets. He already won. <laughs> nope, not quite yet, buddy. There's definitely more to go. The Chiefs seem to have a uh, listening problem. <laughs> Dakota, sit. <laughs> sit. <laughs> He there, really wants that nugget. Good boy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Coda, I'm gonna be honest. This one is in Koopy's favor, but I believe in you, and I think you could surprise us. I think you could have a come from behind victory. One, two, three. Get oh. How defeating to know you've already lost it in the first five seconds of the uh. game. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> It's not gonna Is it really? Go to go to go to come here. The have lost the ball. There. It's there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna try one with you, okay? Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. I believe you can get one. I believe you can get one. I 100% believe in you. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Get it. Good boy! Nice job. At least he's on the board. Round two, here we go. The eating challenge. Now here's the thing. You've gotta clean the plate. There can be no crumbs left on the plate, no crumbs left on your side of the table or anything like that. It's gotta be 100% clean to count, okay? It's just gonna be a race to see who can do it first and she's gonna set them down right now. Get it boys, get it boys, get it boys, get it. Good boys, good boys, good boys. Cooper's off to a hot start. Oh, oh, okay. It's actually pretty, it's pretty neck and neck. They both kind of skipped over the pumpkin. Cooper's going to the pumpkin now. I feel like the pumpkin's probably gonna take the longest to get. Oh man, Coda, come on, I believe in you. Coda, I believe in you. I didn't know he didn't 
like pepper. Oh, hey, no, hey, no, hey, hey, this is your plate. Oh. You gotta finish getting your plate. Koda might be able to beat you. You just helped him out. Oh no, Koopy, no, Koopy, no, that's his plate. Koopy, you gotta get it. You gotta, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Koopy, get this, get this. Keep an eye on his plate, keep an eye on his plate. Koopy, get it, get it. No, Koopy, Koopy, come here. Koopy, you still got pumpkin. You still got pumpkin. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. And he's lost interest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, can we just do a comparison of plates? Sure. It's looking to me like Koopy won. One, we no. aren't gonna tell Koto. We aren't gonna tell Koto, okay? All right, buddy. Listen, the odds are not in your favor. Some would say it's mathematically impossible for you to be able to win this, but we're not gonna let that get us down, right, buddy? We're gonna stay confident and we are gonna win this thing. I actually think out of all of them, you have a really good shot at this. To be honest, I really thought he was gonna win the eating too. I'm a little disappointed, but. Um, we're, we're gonna try our best. We need 10 seconds on the treadmill, okay? Let's get on there, come on. All right, y'all, start it. Here we go. Good boy, stay. Good boy, keep going, 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 good boy. Close enough, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on, go through there, go through there. Stay, stay. Come here, good boy. Underneath the paddle board, it's not scary. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, good boy, good boy, good boy. I got the nugget right here, let's go. Watch the tennis balls. Watch the tennis balls. We gotta run all the way down here. Come on, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, touch the end. All right, come on, good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, good boy. Time. 42 and a half seconds with four added seconds for balls. 46 and a half. Good job, bud. Good job. All right, buddy, are you ready? 46 and a half, that's all you need. But keep in mind, you're probably gonna knock a ton of tennis balls over, so you've gotta be even quicker than that, okay? Let's do it. Gonna start the puppy treadmill up, bring it up to a nice little pace. Koopy, are you ready? Come here. Good boy. Get on there. Good boy. All right, start it, Chels. Good boy, good boy, come here. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, Koopy, come here, come on, go. Go, 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 go. Koopy, through here, go. No, stay, stay, stay. Okay, come here, come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy, go, 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 go. Go, 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 Koopy this way, Koopy this way, Koopy this way. No, this way, this way, come on, that way. Good boy, through the tennis balls, through the tennis balls. Koopy, come here, no, no, Koopy, no. Come on, come on. Let's go to the end, let's go to the end. All right, get all the way down here. Go, Koopy, go. Go to her, go to her. She's got the nugget, she's got the nugget. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of call it. He missed the nugget. Coop, I have a tree though. Coop, Coop, there's a nugget here. Oh. <laughs> the results of the 2020 Puppy Bowl are in. Koopy, the 49ers, against Coda, the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's see what happens. So we all saw the first one. Challenge one, three out of three for Cooper on the Nuggets. One Good job, Coop, that's one point to you. Challenge number two, Snack Wars. We have Cooper with an incomplete and Coda with a more so incomplete. <laughs> Well, you guys both tried, but I'm just like, let me look at that. Now, most importantly, we know Coda put up a 46 and a half second time on the obstacle course. Was Koopy able to beat that? Is the final question. Final score was 44.97, and then you have to add a nine second penalty for all those tennis balls. Koopy. You had the opportunity for a sweep. You could have had a blowout and you blew it. I can't believe oh, it. Don't embarrass him like that. He's looking at the nugget in my hand. So we have one nugget left. It was gonna be a tiebreaker if we needed it for the nugget toss. Yeah. And I think the nugget should go to the winner, but I think really we have two winners. We have two winners in this house. What so you wanna take half of this nugget? There we go. Good boy. Oh, he's offended. <laughs> <laughs> Koda, good boy. Take it. Hey, I'm proud you at least got one out of the three. And to be honest, it was expected. probably the most difficult one. Yeah. So props to you, buddy. All right, guys. Well, there you all have it. According to our predictions, I guess the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl this evening. But it's not going to be a blowout. It's going to be a close game. And uh, the Chiefs are, are going to stay in contention. How so. crazy would it be if the 49ers came out and got like... 
two touchdowns back to back, and then in the last couple seconds, the Chiefs got one. That would be our exact prediction. That would be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure our prediction was correct last year. I can't remember who was who. But uh, anyway, we'll see what happens this year. Hope you guys have a fun and safe evening if you're celebrating for the Super Bowl or if you're a football fan. I mean, we don't really care who wins. Our teams aren't in it. I'm a Vikings fan. She's a Lions fan. So uh, to us, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to enjoy it. We hope you do too, and we'll see you guys next Sunday for Bella's birthday. I know we said last week Bella's birthday was going to be this week. We forgot the Super Bowl was this week. So next week, one week from now, next Sunday, Bella's birthday. We'll see you guys there.